Well, in, in 1982, that's 35 years ago, my sister-in-law was diagnosed with um, MS and she was a very feisty character and she was determined that she was going to carry on living her life despite the illness. And the charity that she was involved with at that time very much focused on that, focused on living with the disease rather than becoming a patient. And so selling Christmas cards just seemed like something I could do to help her. And that's how I started getting involved with the charity. The Ealing Charity Christmas Card Shop, I started with a friend, 20, uh, 33, this is coming up for our 33rd year. Um, we both had young children and we, the nearest charity Christmas card shop was, in, was not near Ealing and it was difficult to get to the children. And to be fair, my mum uh, had set up a charity Christmas card shop in Norwich 50 or 60 years ago. So I had the kind of idea and the enthusiasm from my mother. So we set it up. Um, and we were lucky enough to get premises in the local YMCA and we didn't charge us and we were able to get loads of volunteers. So there's usually about between 50 and 70 volunteers involved each year. Which means we don't have to, we're all, we've always been able to give 100 percent of the money back to the charity, which is quite unusual with charity Christmas card shops. And uh, we've carried on. We're now in a local church which where we've been for about the last five years. Um, and they also don't ask very much money and we've still got lots of volunteers, so we're, we're open um, for about seven weeks between the end of October and Christmas. Um, each, well, last year we made £28,000 for about 30 different charities. I think probably the fact that it keeps me... Um, it's, it's a sort of memory for Judith. It's something I can do, you know, in memory of her. She, she had MS for... I don't know, 30 years, and she really fought very hard to live. She was a feisty, feisty person. She really fought to live with the disease, and you know, she was wanted to be as independent as she possibly could. And she so admired the support she got from this charity, um, and that I, I'm pleased to be able to do something. Even selling Christmas cards sometimes seems a bit removed, but you know, it's still making money for something that she was passionate about. And I'm pleased to follow on in her footsteps and do it for her. I'd say that I think it's a really worthwhile charity. I, I like, you know, what it stands for. You know, it stands for helping people to be independent and to live with the disease and, you know, to, to make the most of their lives. 